Well, I'm back. Works had me uh, pretty well tied up here. Hadn't been able to uh, produce any videos. And this is just uh, real simple and quick. I wanted to look at that Cadet Model 35. That transformer, I've been itching to uh, kind of get to it here and see if that thing's any good. And again, I haven't put uh, a Variac on it to check it. I'll do that uh, later. But I wanted to go ahead and do some basic uh, DC measurements on it. As you can see, it looks a little crusty here in the uh, in the video that I'm sharing. So uh, let me get the uh, VOM set here and let's do some basic tests, see what we get. The meter lead's hooked up and you can follow along here in the picture in picture, see where I'm at. But uh, everything's looking good. I've got about 19 ohms of uh, DC resistance here on the primary side and I did verify the switch is working as well. So I think we're in pretty good shape here again. We'll have to test this, bring it up on the Variac, but let's move along to the secondary side. Okay, again, here we're focused on the secondary side of the transformer, and if you look in the right top corner, you'll see the Type 80 tube socket that I'm actually showing. And uh, we're going to be focused here on the plates, and that's where the high-voltage winding attaches itself. And um, I'll show that in the picture-in-picture. Picture. So here are the connection points again. This is uh, pin number one on the Type 80, pin number two, pin number three. And again, I want to make my connection points between points two and uh, points number uh, three. So here you can see I'm attaching the meter here to uh, pin two, which is going to be uh, plate number two. And then I'll take the other connection point here will be um, number three on the tube, which is plate number one. Okay, let's swing the meter over now and look at the uh, DC resistance, and you can see it looks great. About 2.2 K, which is 2.2 times 1,000, 2,200 ohms and some change. So I think that's what I would expect to see on this transformer. It's not real beefy, and if I look at the output voltage chart, it shows about uh, 250 volts. So uh, let's move along now and uh, look at connection points number one and four, which would be the filament for the Type 80, and we'll probably read a real low DC resistance at those points. And again, you can see me here counting pins one, two, three, and four, and again, I'm going in a clockwise position underneath, and again, my uh, points of interest here will be pins number one and four, which will be the uh, filament. And again, I'll show this on uh, picture in picture. Um, so sorry about this. I'm going to have my hand in front of the uh, camera here just for a moment while I get these connection points. Um, but at the same time here, let me go ahead and show that picture in picture that I referenced. So let's move over and look at the meter. And you can see we read about 0.2. 0.1 ohms of uh, DC resistance. That's what I would expect to see here off of that uh, 5 volt winding here that feeds the uh, filaments of the Type 80 tube. Let's move over now to the Type 41 tube and we'll look at the other um, winding here on the transformer that feeds the uh, heaters for the other tubes. Make sure we're good here as well. Again, I moved over to the Type 41 tube. Here I've got pin 1 pointed out, and that's pin number 6 to the right. So again, you count these again in clockwise position, and on the Type uh, 41 tube that we'll be looking at here, the uh, heaters will be between uh, points uh, 1 and 6. So again, I'm just hooking up my uh, test leads here accordingly. And uh, we'll do the same drill. I'll just swing over and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, DC resistance on the meter and uh, see what we get. Again, I would think it would be just a bit higher than that 5 volt winding, maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And uh, here we go, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohms of uh, DC resistance. So uh, just what I would expect to see um, on the transformer like this. Now again... I'll need to bring this thing up on the Variac as well as I need to take some time and do DC resistance measurements between the primary, secondary, primary to ground, and secondary to ground, just like I've uh, showed you guys before. But, uh, you know, I was so curious to know if this transformer is any good because it looks so cruddy on top. 
I couldn't wait to kind of get a hold of it, put this video together, and share with you guys. And um, looks like uh, we'll be successful here on the uh, on the uh, restoration. Of course, we still got some coils that could be bad as well. Thanks again, guys, for following along with me and watching this little uh, quick video here on this simple test of the uh, transformer on this little uh, Cadet Model uh, 35. Hope to be back on the uh, Zenith here within the next uh, week or so. And I'll provide an update uh, to you guys on my progress there. Until then, take care.